G'day, welcome back to the show. It's been a long time between drinks, Ben Epsi. It has. How are you, mate? Cheers. Mate, last time we were together, we were talking state politics. That we were. That we were when uh, Dr. John McVeigh um, resigned um, to run for federal and it left a by election. Mm -hmm. And, and then uh, we had um, David Janetsky. Yep. Met, and it was one of the coldest and wettest days That's on right. earth, I think, for a by election. Yep. It, was, it was lovely. It was quite um, quite interesting, wasn't it? You know? Yeah, and then we had the full state election um, not long after that mm -hmm. in the November. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, so well, we're back. We're back. Um, finally, it's been the writ's been issued, and um, it's mm. on. It's on. May it has. May eighteen. Yep. May eighteen. We're going to the polls, people. So. Eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Anyhow, we're in a political laneway down here at the Walton Stores. We're going to call it political laneway and. Next week our show might be politics at the pub, so because we always like to have a drink. So, mate, this is going to be really interesting. And I think the thing with this election, it's really important. I think for people your age and, and younger, they're really going to make some wise, wise um, voting decisions. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a good chance for you to have your say in mm. the election. If there's something you disagree with, there's something you do agree with. You know, by mm. all means, look into it, research it, yep. and, and vote for the parties that um, that are representing your values and, mm. and what you believe the country should be heading mm. towards or yep. how we are heading towards or heading away from if you don't like it. Yeah, so I there's know, a whole of different stuff but um, the only way you can do that is if you are enrolled to vote. Mm -hmm. um, so the close enrolls will be 8pm on the 18th of April. Yep. So you've got until um, Thursday. Yeah. So Thursday. Easter Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, to do that, enrol to vote. If you've changed address, you're, an, you're a first time voter, get in. It's, it's your chance to have a say. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And, and there's no point throwing your vote away and then complaining because you had your chance. That's right. And it's going to be a very interesting field in our electorate here. So um, we might just run through some candidates. And yeah, so, so far, because um, we don't, um, as far as the nominations go, the nominations are open until midday on Tuesday the 23rd of April, so okay. anyone that wants to run can run, mm -hmm. all they have to do is approach the um, Electoral Commission to do that, Yep. Um, nominate, nominate to run. Um, so far though, we have six. Six in the, the running Six in the race, okay, yep. Um, yep. so in no particular order. No. Just, just as they roll. Yeah, just as they roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got John McVeigh mm -hmm. representing the LNP. Yep. Uh, Troy Kay representing the Australian Labor Party. Yep. Yep. And then you've got Alice Nelligan for the Greens. I've met I've met Elise. She's beautiful. Lovely yep. person. Mm -hmm. uh, David King for Pauline Hanson's One Nation. Right. So they are running someone. In, this is all for the lower house. Yep. Yep. Uh, and then you've got Kenneth Law for the United uh, for the United Australia, Australia Party. Party. So that's. Farmer. Yep, okay. Spending lots of money. A lot of money on election ads. Fucking loads of money. Yeah. He's, he's, he, tells, he tells everyone he's got a bottomless pit of money. It seems like it, doesn't oh, it? Oh, gee. Um, he's everywhere. And then we've got Perry, now, excuse me yes. if I say it wrong, yes. Adrelius. Yeah, Adrelius. I think it's Adrelius. Um, Fraser Anning's Conservative National Party. Okay, that's just to title. throw a mouthful in there okay, with, right the, with the name. So, now that's in the lower house. So that's your House of Representatives, yep. uh, which is the lower house in the federal government. Then okay. you've got above that, you have the upper house, or what we call the Senate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that I will hold off because they'll probably be. Um, yeah, the, if it's the ballot's anything like it was last time, there'll be 50 people to choose from. So. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, that's I remember that. Big sheet, big, big sheet of paper. Big sheet of paper. Fold it sideways yeah. up the booth to, to actually be able to vote. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. Just to confuse everyone. Mm. So, mate, what's the cutoff for the declaration of um, the, the ballots? Or so, once everyone's nominated, yep. so that's um, by midday Tuesday, the twenty third of April. Yep. Then the electoral commission will collect those up, make sure everything's all in order. Yep. And the declaration will be done then by midday the following day, the 24th. Mm -hmm. okay. So just prior to Anzac Day, we will know who all our candidates are. Yep. Um, following that, we'll have a ballot draw. So from right. that point on, we'll start talking about people in ballot draw order, so it's very even. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. so. Mate, just before I came here, we were at work and we were just talking, and um, a lot of the staff that I work with are saying, why can't we just vote for either Shorten or, or um, ScoMo? You know? uh, that's because we are part of the Westminster system. Right, okay. So, uh, because we're part of that, we have 
uh, we elect our local members, yep. and then those members, uh, their party, elect their leader. So in, okay. in the examples um, from both sides of whoever has been in government since 2007, mm -hmm. we've had various occurrences of the parties picking their Prime Ministers, yep. much to the people's dismay, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. everyone losing track of who's actually <coughs> the Prime Minister. Yep. Um, yes, for right. anyone that's confused at the moment, it is Scott Morris. <laughs> that's right. Um, there have been a fair few predecessors since 2007. So. I heard the doctors don't ask that question anymore for testing for Alzheimer's or yeah. anything like that, because they don't even know who the Prime Minister is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good joke, I think. Yeah, yeah. But it, Mate, had to laugh. You know I, I call bingo, and um, you <laughs> yep. sent me a clip of ScoMo calling bingo and down at some Leeds club or somewhere down south, but geez, it was really funny, wasn't it? Yeah, he was there, there having dinner, and they're sort of, oh, you come up and, come up and call bingo. So he got up and he called bingo, like yeah. how Australian. So yeah, that, that was great. It's really I, good. And then, very um, funny clip. If you haven't seen it, just um, Google it and find it. This is on uh, 4350. I think I did put it yeah, on. Yeah. No, it's a good, cl good clip. I, I was, that one and someone else actually showed me a video, because yeah. uh, I must have missed it. I watched the, um, during Christian time, making a, uh, a reference to the Borat tax <laughs> right. um, in Parliament. So uh, always good to see the, uh, the yep. pollies getting down and yep. using pop culture references in Parliament. So. Yeah. No, really funny note, mate. Um, electric cars, they don't take long to charge up, apparently yeah, to I, the yeah. Labor leader. According, according to Bill Shorten, they're eight minutes. They, eight they will, minutes. An electric car will charge faster than my iPhone, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so, that was interesting. Um, yeah, it's always crap. <laughs> There's always good videos when it comes to elections, yeah. so I'm sure there'll be uh, some blunders on both sides, and I'm more than happy to work yeah. so. Mate, uh, realestate.com and REA, they're not real happy with Mr Shorten uh, having a swipe at real estate agents. Yeah, uh, leading to an election, probably not the best thing to no, do. It's so taking a swipe at a massive industry, an industry that is quite struggling at the moment. So yeah, Very much so. Um, people sort of don't understand a lot of what happens in that industry will have its flow on effects. Yep, so. yep. Well, being a former real estate agent, I was really quite taken back with what he said. I thought, ooh, ouch. I think he might have lost um, real estate agents' folks here in this country. Yes and no. I think it might be early days. People might forget by the time we get to May yeah, 18. Yeah, well, that's true. So, yep, yep. Um, there's time, obviously. I think you'll see a lot of pollies out and about before Easter. Yep. you forget about what's going on between okay. Easter and Anzac Day. And following that, we'll see a resurgence of the pollies out and about mm -hmm. in a lot of uh, probably marginal seats. Yep. Australian uh, Broadcasting Corporation. ABC. It came up in trivia question the other day. I thought it was, I thought it was still commissioned, but it's corporation. Yep. Um, they've come up with a voting compass. Yeah, so they ran it last um, last federal election. Mm -hmm. That's when I ran into it the first time that they um, they do what, like a vote compass. So it's a crosshair of where all the parties sit yep. um, across the spectrum, I guess you'd mm -hmm. say, of, of politics. Um, so you've got you know, your Greens up in the, the top left and then your yep. Labour's sort of more left, central, LNP, right, central mm -hmm. and then One Nation's down the bottom. Okay, right. Um, the Vote Compass is a really good tool. Um, I wouldn't trust it 100%. No, no, but no it's, it's, a, a, it's a tool. A, it's a great way of seeing where you sit um, in relation to the party policies. Okay. So there's a series of questions, 30 questions that you get asked. Mm -hmm. um, you put in your answer, you disagree strongly, or strongly agree, um, how likely you are to vote for this person, yep. how likely not, you think your electorate is to vote for these mm -hmm. people, um, realistically, um, it's all electric based, electric based okay. as well, so um, good chance, get on the um, ABC mm -hmm. vote compass, yep. um, have a play with it, it takes about 10 minutes to do okay. it, um, it's a good, good tool to have a look at and see where you sit. Great. We're in political laneway. It's five, we're recording this on a Saturday to put out on a Sunday, but it's five weeks today that we're, mm. we're going to the polls, so it's a long sort of campaign. Yeah, uh, five weeks. Um, it's not the longest, but no, no, uh, it's a lot of people were expecting a bit of a shorter campaign yeah. with May, uh, May 11th, originally yeah. thought to be the um, election mm -hmm. day, but yeah, May 18 uh, was the last day that could be just the half Senate in the yeah. lower house, otherwise yeah. it would have been a full Senate. So. Right, okay. Uh, May 18, five weeks today. Yeah, there you go. Well, we're in political anyway, we're recording this, and we're going to do another one on Saturday. We'll um, probably be political politics at a pub. I think we'll go to a pub somewhere and. And, uh, if, if you've got a pub out there you want us to come, let us know and yeah. buy us a couple of beers, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. But we're in the laneway here and look, support local businesses. We've got the um, Moose here, Moose um, Bar, Chocolate Parlour and, and Cocktail Bar. Um, the 
the pizza place at the back. What's he called? He's changed his name. Connick's? Yeah. Yep. Conic, Connick's Beer Garden? Yeah. Um, certainly support local business. Went to my farmer's feast farm, my local feast farmer's markets this morning. That market's getting stronger, and uh, I think more people are, are getting in to support local producers. And I think that's important to shop with local businesses. It is. It, it's good. Um, it's really good when locals support locals. And yeah. Local businesses. Um, even though the, the larger ones do employ locals, mm -hmm. local businesses are run by families. When you yeah. support local, you're supporting someone paying for their kids to go to school, mm -hmm. paying for you know, bread and food on the table. Yeah. And the theory is, if someone buys local, they then buy local, yeah. that person then spends their money locally, and that grows the local economy. Yeah. Um, which, in the lead up to an election, couldn't be more important. Yeah. It yeah. has been quite quiet uh, at the start of this year. In, many industries around mm. here. So. Yep, yep. Right. Okay, well, if you can do that, that'd be great. We, you can't avoid the majors. I've always said that. You cannot avoid them. But you can certainly think about what you're buying there. And um, buy, you know, your meat, buy from a local butcher. Your, your fish, um, seafood, buy from a local fishmonger. Um, you know, we've got such family businesses here. You know? Yeah, if you're, going, if you're going out for coffee, support a local business. Yeah, yeah. If you're going out for a dinner, yep. try something different. Yep. Support one of the locals. Um, yep. Get on Luca Laneway, go down at the Walton stores, and um, we look forward to catching up with you next week. We'll um, be at a pub somewhere next week to record. So, if you've got any feedback, let us know, and we'd love to hear from you. Okay, take care. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Take care. Every single day.